Greetings out there in Coco Land. This is Steve Strobridge, and this is going to be part one in a series of videos on how to set up and use the new Coco Pie community image. This video will be relatively short, and it's just going to cover how to download the image, how to burn the image, and some of the tools you might need to use to accomplish that. All of this is going to be done in Windows. If you run the Mac OS or Linux, your mileage may vary. But let's get started with getting the image. So you want to go to the coco-pi.com website, which we're looking at here. You would go to downloads, and then this is the link right now, Coco Pi 16 gigabyte unified community edition dash X 20210826 hut hut hike. That's the image you want to download. When you click on that link, it's going to prompt you to save your download. And when you save your download, it's going to uh, download a zip file. This is the zip file of the image. And you would then need to basically extract that zip file. What you will find in that zip file are three things. The most important one is the image. This is the ISO file that you need to burn to an SD card. You're also going to get the MD5 hash, which is kind of like a checksum that you can run to make sure your image is good. And last but not least will be some setup instructions, which is a simple text file that looks like this. And in this video here, we're going to be covering section one of downloading and burning the SD image. So this is what you're going to get when you download and extract that file from the website. Now what you want to do is you want to burn that image to an SD card. I happen to have uh, an SD card in my computer already. And while this is not a necessary step, I'm also going to format my SD card before I um, actually burn it. And the program that I use to do that is from the SD Association. This is the SD card memory card formatter. And yes, you can technically format this using your operating system, but this is a tool designed um, specifically for SD cards. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to bring up my SD card formatter utility. This is optional completely, but I like to do it. And the, the card I'm going to format right now, it says this is an SDXC card. It's 59.48 gigabytes. Basically means this is my 64 gig SD card. And then I'm just going to hit format. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I want to do that. And it's going to very quickly format that SD card as drive E in my computer here. So now I have a blank SD card. The next thing you want to do is you want to use an imager of your choice. Again, I'm running Windows, and there are links to these on the CocoPie website. But uh, Belena Etcher is a nice little graphical uh, image burning tool. There's another one that's called Win32 Disk Imager. So these are a couple of different tools you can use to burn the image, and um, there are links to get these on the Coco-Pie website. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Etcher utility because I'm most familiar with using this one. It's a beautiful little GUI and the first it comes up and it says well what file do you want to flash? And then I am going to go ahead, I have this on my desktop in my CocoPie image and then this is the actual ISO image file right here that we are going to burn. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now I'm going to select the target. What drive do I want to do it? This is my 64 gigabyte USB SD card reader doohickey. I'm going to hit that and I'm going to hit flash and now it's going to start to burn. And depending on the speed of the SD card you have, the amount of time it may take to burn that card will vary. What I do like about Etcher is that not only does it burn, but it also goes through and it does a second pass and it verifies the burn. So um, this will take a little bit of time I am not going to um, spend too much time watching this on this recording, but just know that this is the important part of the process. You need to flash or burn um, that image to the SD card. That SD card now becomes the CocoPie operating system boot disk. When this is done burning, you would pop it out of your computer and then you will pop that SD card into your Raspberry Pi and you'll fire that puppy up and you will boot up into the initial boot of the CocoPie image. And we will then begin to walk you through the initial setup steps on how to get that CocoPie running. And that will begin shortly in the second video in this series, which will be part two, which is covering how to resize your SD card 
and how to reboot it. That'll be a real short video too. So hopefully this is getting you started on the easy part, which is just burning the image and come back for part two on what to do once you've burned it and done your first boot. We'll see you then. Steve Strobridge saying Coco forever.